The Armenian community of Toronto has been constantly carrying out school construction projects in Artsakh for years. Breaking with tradition, our compatriots in Canada last year took on the project of completely renovating the cultural centre in Shushi. This four-storey building, built 50 years ago, has never been renovated. As a result, the institution's field of activities has constantly diminished over time. After the project is completed, the Shushi Cultural Centre will also serve as a movie theatre and will house a variety of clubs. The Fund's Toronto affiliate, however, didn't stop there. It launched projects in the health and social sectors in Armenia. The project in the field of social services aims to tackle the problem of seniors living on their own. The second and third floors of the Nork nursing home are being fully renovated. The All-Armenian Fund is now doing a total rebuild. The electric system is being replaced and the lavatories and floors are being renovated. The work really needed to be done. There are 230 seniors residing at the Nork Nursing Home. It's where they spend the golden years of their lives. It would be great for these seniors to live in comfortable, renovated rooms. It's much more pleasant. The fund is now making this a reality. With resources from the fund's Toronto affiliate, the dialysis and nephrology units at the Nordnork St. Gregory the Illuminator Medical Center are being upgraded. About 40 patient rooms and offices are being renovated, some with lavatories. It's a full renovation. The floor is being replaced, the electrical wires upgraded and surface tiling installed. Vazgen Panduns, chief of the dialysis and nephrology division, says that they treat 250 to 270 patients annually and perform about 22,000 hemodialysis sessions. Given such a patient load, it's important to offer such vital medical services in a proper setting. They're really doing quality work. It will be a great moral boost, not only for the patients, but medical staff as well. In a word, the more beautiful, the better. A new water distribution system has started to be built in the village of Garintak, located in the Shushi district of Artsakh. The project is being jointly financed by the All Armenian Funds affiliates in Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Greece and Cyprus, in addition to the Armenian Relief Society. Water is the main problem facing our village and communities throughout Artsakh. There are 151 households in Garintak, 170 of the village's 640 residents are of preschool and school age. 15 to 20 babies are born in the village each year. Many projects have been carried out in the village in the post-war period, with funds from the government and individual donors. But the water problem, so crucial to the village, was never addressed. Polyethylene pipes will carry water from the Tsurt spring located three and a half kilometers from the village. Holding reservoirs built at an elevated site in the village will ensure the necessary supply of the precious liquid. After work is completed, 500 daily liters of water will be supplied to each resident. It's a fairly large amount. The project will ensure a daily water supply to each household. Village mayor, Mkhitaj Arushanyan, says that Garindak residents have waited a long time for this project collectively undertaken by Armenians around the world. It has provided a renewed sense of hope for the villagers. As village mayor and on behalf of all Garindak residents, 
I would like to thank all our Armenian compatriots the world over. Today, people throughout Artsakh understand that such challenges can be overcome when all Armenians come together and combine their resources. With a $1 million grant from British-Armenian benefactor Garabed Nazarian, the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund is carrying out a total renovation of the Gapan Medical Center's pediatric unit in Sunik Mars. The facilities we had were in disrepair, both physically and in a moral sense. Our technical facilities were quite inadequate. Today, that scenario has totally changed. Director Orbelian believes that an improvement of overall conditions will directly impact on the level of medical services provided. It is vital that patients be treated in an environment that is functionally appropriate, with all the proper conditions in place. When the technical facilities are upgraded and the furnishings modernized, there is no doubt that the overall result will radically improve as well. Children suffering from somatic illnesses are treated here. Medical rehabilitation and intensive therapy units treat 400 to 500 children every year. Two new services will be offered. First, the problem of creating a regional rehabilitation center for children with mental and physical development disorders will be resolved. Given the new equipment at the rehab unit, we will be able to provide a new level of quality care to children in need of urgent treatment. Medical Center Director Sumbat Orbelian believes that the joint efforts of the fund's Great Britain affiliate, the construction crew and medical staff have achieved a much desired result. It was a very serious collaborative effort. It was our wish, and I'm sure the wish of the builders, that the benefactors experience a real sense of satisfaction when they visit. Without a doubt, this has been realized. There is no comparison between what existed before and what we see now. The Hayastan All-Armenian Fund with support from the fund's French affiliate, has begun constructing a new school in Ashotsk, a village in Armenia's Shirak region. Local residents welcome the start of school construction and the laying of the foundation with great elation. The new building will replace the existing school built in the 1970s. It was decided to build a new school since it would cost more to completely renovate the old building. The old school was built 40 odd years ago. There's a problem heating the building. The school has to be heated six months every year, from November 1st till May 1st. The old school annex has over 1,000 windows making it impossible to adequately heat in this northern community. Nevertheless, Principal Khachaturian believes that they have succeeded in maintaining educational quality. You know, students at the Ashotsk school have always stood out in terms of educational excellence. But it would be great if they could learn in an improved environment. Not only would it positively impact on education in general, but would double the achievements we realize today. The future campus will consist of four wings, two buildings for classrooms and administrative offices, a gym and a structure which will house an events hall. The site will also feature a sizable playground, designed to accommodate up to 360 students the school will be equipped with central heating and air conditioning. On behalf of the entire community, from the teaching staff down to the students, I would like to express our sincere thanks to the benefactors. 
May God stand with the builders and benefactors so that this good work is finally completed. The Hand in Hand program is a unique monthly feature that showcases the projects and accomplishments of the All Armenia Fund. It allows Armenians the world over to see exactly how their contributions are being used for the benefit of the people of Armenia and Artsakh. Every contribution, whenever made, assists in the development of Armenia and Artsakh. Contributions can be made any time and at any hour. It is you who decides. There is no better time than today, right now, 